The Sirius Fusion or Comet pumps are extremely durable, but like all things with moving parts, they eventually need to be rebuilt. Prior to working on the pump, ensure the power to the pump is turned off at the master switch or disconnect the battery. Turning the controller off is not sufficient. Ensure the process valves are closed prior to disconnecting or working on the chemical pump. Bleed pressure slowly from the suction and discharge lines before disconnecting. The fittings can be loosened while the fluid end is attached on the pump. Remove the two cap screws and valve block from the pump body and take out the secondary seal assembly. Unscrew the discharge fitting. A vise isn't necessary for the disassembly of the pump head. Lift and remove the spring. Turn the valve block upside down to allow the ball and discharge valve seat to fall out. If the discharge seat doesn't drop out, tap the valve block on the bench face down to dislodge the discharge valve seat. Remove the Teflon O-ring from the discharge fitting. Unscrew the suction fitting. Insert a small diameter screwdriver or hex key into the discharge port and through the valve block to push on the underside of the suction check valve assembly. Gently tap the hex key or screwdriver to dislodge the suction valve assembly. Remove the main seal from the valve block. The rebuild kit comes complete with everything required including a schematic. Install the small O-ring into the discharge fitting. Drop the spring into the discharge fitting, then drop the ball on top of the spring. Put the discharge valve seat on top of the ball with the O-ring groove facing up, then insert the small O-ring into the groove. Add copper coat and tighten in place as shown and torque to 40 foot-pounds. Put the medium O-ring on top of the suction fitting. Place the suction valve into the suction fitting with the O-ring groove facing up. Put the smaller O-ring in this groove. Add copper coat to the threads. Install the suction fitting and torque to 40 feet pounds. Insert the main seal into valve block such that the spring in the seal is not visible. Do not use any sharp tools such as a screwdriver, just insert the seal and push into place with your thumb. Insert the secondary seal into the secondary seal bushing such that the spring in the seal is visible. Put the secondary seal bushing and primary seal bushing together with the two large Teflon O-rings and place in the valve block. Install the pump head assembly onto the pump body and seal bushings. Alternate side to side during tightening to ensure an even tightening process, torque to 40 foot-pounds.